Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Becca, if we have never met before, and this is my YouTube channel where I talk about all the houseplant things. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing a package that has come all the way from Indonesia. I'm very excited to be showing you another nursery in Indonesia that you can import plants from, which is called Root Greenhouse on Instagram. You can find their profile and their information right here, I'll put it on the screen. And I'm just really excited to be showing you guys a new place. I will be definitely adding more of their essential information on a slide after I unbox everything, just because I'm feeling a little bit frazzled and I don't wanna get any of the information wrong. So I actually found Root Greenhouse on Instagram. They followed me at the beginning of 2020 and I actually, as soon as they followed me, I looked at their page and I've just been a lot more interested in import plants because of the experience I have with green spaces and so many people sharing their positive experiences as well. Um, I just have been kind of like, hmm, interesting that we can do this. So I was looking into their website and everything like that, and I found out that they are a newer company, so I was excited to, I don't know, like check out what they have because their selection is actually very different from those from green spaces. So it was really cool that I was actually going to place an order with them and then they reached out because I want you guys to know that this is a company that I would have ordered from whether they asked to send me plants or not. And I just want you to know that I would never do anything to make you question my integrity. It's not worth that to me. Like free plants, quote unquote, are not worth losing my integrity on the internet because you guys are my friends and I hope that you consider me your friend too. I would never lie to my friends. I would never do anything to hurt my friends. So just know that up front. So this package is extremely similarly packaged to that of Green Spaces. So I'm assuming that this is gonna be a little bit to get into. Um, it actually got to me very, very fast. And I know that Root Greenhouse sends with DHL Express. So I got it in probably five days, which is absolutely crazy. I got really lucky on the customs part of this because sometimes customs can hold your packages for a lot longer than they're supposed to. Maybe it's just taking a while to go through the boxes or maybe they're like suspicious of the package or whatever it may be. But there is a phytosanitary certificate right here, very clearly stated. And I also noticed on the box that there is a little information sheet on how to care for your houseplants when you first get them. So that's really nice. I'm definitely going to be hoping I can extract that from the package without ruining it and um, reading it and showing it to you guys. Because I did get a lot of questions asking how I would acclimate plants like this. And I definitely will be showing you guys an update of my Green Spaces plants and these ones when they have time to show me something. A lot of my Green Spaces plants are actually growing now, which is really exciting. Ah, it's open. <laughs> Stuff out of here. Okay, so very similar to Green Spaces, we have a kind of like a recycled box situation, which I really actually really like that they do that. Um, someone at the UPS store, or not UPS store, USPS actually told me that he's always really relieved when he finds people reusing old boxes and stuff like that. So if you are a person who ships plants, definitely like reuse your plants or reuse your boxes that are sent to you and plants that, um, Sorry, I'm like so distracted right now. <laughs> okay, so all the plants are laid out now and you can see that there is more um, stuffing at the bottom here. And I'm actually going to keep this stuffing because it's really, really great for sending those more sensitive plants in the mail and it doesn't take up much space in storage. So this is the box and there were five plants in it and I should be able to identify all of them as I open them. Some of them are labeled, so I'm really excited. This is going to be a surprise for you guys what is in each of them. So let's just start with this one here. Um, okay, don't peek, being very, very careful. They are wrapped in paper. This is almost identically wrapped to that of Green Spaces. And actually, if I remember correctly, they know each other, the owners of these two companies, so they might be getting some tips. <laughs> okay, so this is a Monstera Carcinium or a Monstera Peru. Oh my gosh, and it looks really nice. That leaf is huge. You can see how big that leaf looks. Should I get just a little bit closer? Resituated a little bit closer so that my autofocus might work a little bit better. Okay, so this is the Monstera Peru. It is very, very flat in here. I'm always amazed by how they get these plants to lay so flat. Um, but anyway, so we have a lot of leaves on here and I'm excited. I actually got this for a friend, so I'm really excited to send this to her. 
and I will look at the roots. So they are wrapped in facial tissue, you know, like what you blow your nose in, that's what this feels like. Sometimes they are wrapped in toilet paper, and that is because I'm pretty sure that they don't have paper towels over there. I think I saw someone else comment that on another import video. Ooh, these roots look really good. Leo, what do you think? <laughs> Leo's sitting down here watching me. <laughs> Oh, maybe it is toilet paper. It has that like dirt smell. I know a lot of people have commented on these plants having a smell. The smell is very similar to like just what dirt smells like, honestly. Those are the roots on this one. Very, very healthy. I do have another one of these and so I can definitely tell you that that is a nice root system and looks very, very healthy. There's no damage on any of the leaves besides that newest growth, which is obviously like a little bit more sensitive down here. So, and we have another growth point coming in. So this is a really nice plant. Very, very well rounded and lots of nodes. And I will say that there is no cold damage on it or anything like that. Um, I do live in a warmer part of the country, United States. So that could probably be why I didn't have issues with that so far, but no telling what is left in the box. This one is not labeled. So let's, let's see. Oh, oh, I see something velvety. Oh gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, here we go, ready? Oh. This is, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Okay, so if you can't tell, this is a um, philodendron melanochrysum or the philodendron black gold, and it's the long leaf form. So it is a little bit more of a mature form than the one that I got from Green Spaces. And there is a special reason that I got this plant. So definitely stay tuned, it's special. <laughs> I am noticing that there is some aging on this leaf right here, you can see that. It is the oldest leaf on the plant, so you can expect that this will happen even if the plant just like is in your house. You can expect that that will happen with the oldest leaves as the plant grows older and puts its energy elsewhere. But this is just absolutely gorgeous. What a beautiful specimen. These leaves are really, really beautiful and I'm not noticing too much damage on them. So definitely fared very, very well in the mail. Let's open up this bag and check out the roots now. It's wrapped up kind of like a mummy. <laughs> so yeah, we'll just beehive it off of here. I have high hopes. Please be happy. Please be happy. Ooh, it looks so good. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, look how beautiful. These roots are so interesting. Wow. Okay, so this leaf, is now for sure I know the oldest leaf. I'll probably just pluck that off, honestly. And then the rest of it looks so good. Like, so good. Wow. I almost wanna like keep one of these leaves for myself. <laughs> There's a growth point too. Next up. <laughs> okay. Ooh, okay. So this, ooh, it doesn't look very good. It doesn't look like it did very well. I th okay, so this is the Syngonium Pink. I've just noticed that a lot of people unboxing this plant, it just does not do well in the mail. And, oh, but wait a second. That leaf, this leaf right here, can you see that? It has started the tri-leaf thing right there. That is what Syngonians do when they're super mature. They just become like three separate leaves. So honestly, this does not look very good, okay? And I think that that's a Syngonium thing because this plant I've seen a lot of people order from, you know, import places and they usually come in looking like this or worse. So it's not something that can't be saved. I don't think like there are at least like three leaves on here that look like they're okay. And I think there's a growth point with a new leaf coming out. So I think that it'll be okay. It's just gonna need some TLC. That is my initial thought. Let's, let's look at the roots. Um, sorry, I'm also in the middle of filming a video, but... Ah, you're a YouTuber? Yeah, I am. Nice. Um, okay. Sorry. Yeah, he's really nice, if you don't mind. I don't mind. I don't mind at all. Okay. 
Hi everybody, sorry for the very sudden change in location, but our washer has actually been broken for the last couple of days and the repair person came like way earlier than we planned. So he just walked in and saw all of that plant stuff on the floor and the camera and everything else. So that was really awesome. Um, anyway, <laughs> so back to the Syngonium and I'll probably put it in my greenhouse because this root system is really beautiful. It's actually like very thick and kind of like tuberous actually. So let me show you. Okay. This is what one of the leaves looks like. Some of the leaves have just been like super yellow. This one down here looks quite perfect actually. And it's doing like the tri-leaf thing. Actually, there's like four leaves on it. There's a little one right here. So anyway, I don't know how this is going to go, but there is a lot of great roots, like I said, so hopefully it will be okay. Next one is labeled, so I already know what it is, but you don't, so let's check it out. This is a philodendron pink princess that looks like it's completely reverted. So um, we do have a new leaf right here. Let me unfurl it just a little bit so we can see. Um, it doesn't look like there's variegation on this one either, which kind of sucks. So I don't know. I am not sure um, what the situation is, but let's look at the roots. So this root system is small. It kind of looks like what roots look like after they are recovering from root rot. If you can see, they're just like very, very thin. So I'm just not sure about this plant. Like I'm kind of generally disappointed by this one because when you order a pink princess, you would hope for just a little bit more pink, but um, I don't really know what to say about it much more than that. But this leaf looks like, I don't know, this leaf has a similar thing and then these two are green. So I'm confused, I don't know. So let's move on. Ooh, okay. Yes, I'm excited about this one. This is the plant that I think I am most excited about. It looks really good from the peak that I just made. So let's see. Okay, yeah, that's good. That is really good. Wow, wow. Okay, so this is, they call it a Syngonium Army. These leaves are much different texture wise than I thought they would be, um, which is very cool. They have like a, like a rugged, texture like almost almost like a ripple peperomia kind of like that kind of a ripply thing and so these leaves are absolutely beautiful i thought that i had this plant already but just like a basically completely reverted version but now i'm thinking that i don't have this plant at all because the leaf texture is not this whatsoever let's see how we're doing on the root area the difference between this syngonium and this syngonium is these leaves are a lot thicker so maybe that's why they traveled better like these isn't just in general feel much more hardy and also they have if you've ever seen a monstera standaliana it has kind of a suction cup thing going on right here where it kind of looks like a, a suction cup really like so that it can climb on top of things um, through that and so this plant also has that which is very interesting I've never seen a syngonium with that before whoa that is a lot of roots so that root ball whoa look at that that is incredible this is a very mature plant. Very, very mature. That's beautiful. This is my favorite plant out of all of them, easily. That is so gorgeous. Definitely worth it just for this one. Wow. So that would be all of the plants that were in this unboxing. Let's do a quick review. We've got the Syngonium Army, Syngonium Pink. We have the Long Leaf Melanochrysum. We have the Monstera Peru, which is very beautiful, big, beautiful leaves and a growth point. And then we have a questionable reverted Philodendron Pink Princess. After my last video, a lot of people were very curious as to how I was going to acclimate these to my home. And the answer is I put them in jars of water and that was the really that was really the best way that I could take care of them and watch them and watch their roots as they acclimated and a lot of my plants from green spaces actually all of my plants from green spaces acclimated beautifully I did not have any stumps as a result of that video and I did order quite a few anthurium so I don't know I think it was really successful 
doing that in water. A lot of people will choose to do like LECA or sphagnum moss, but choosing water is just comfortable for me, so I'm gonna keep doing that. And just make sure that you clean out that water every few days, just like change out the water. So I did change the water a lot more often than I normally would a water propagation, just because the water got a lot murkier a lot faster. And I don't exactly know why that was, but I'm not gonna question it, that's just what happened. So definitely keep that in mind. When you order plants, and if you're thinking about how you're going to acclimate them to your home, definitely water is a really great solution. And it's easy and it's free. Love free and easy. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's a different day from the last time I was filming because I wanted to show you an update on how these plants are doing about 12 days later. I'm very, very happy with their progress and how they're doing, so I am super excited to show you. But before I do that, I wanted to give you that concrete information about Root Greenhouse, like I said that I would do. Okay, so right at the front page of their website, we can see that they have a free shipping for a minimum $300 order, and that is as of March 6th, so I'm not sure if that will be changing, when it will be changing. Um, every single plant order comes with a phytosanitary certificate, which I showed you guys. Okay, so let's look at some of the plants that they have here. They have a lookbook. So we have shop, and then you can look at the popular tropicals, under 20, and the rare variegated hybrids. I think when I was looking at their plants, I just looked at the popular tropical plants. So immediately we can see that their selection is actually very different from Green Spaces. Green Spaces was more like philodendron and anthurium heavy, whereas this page is a little bit more like alocasia. Um, they definitely have a lot of alocasia, amedrium, just a bunch of different stuff, a couple more hoyas. Um, they definitely do have a lot of philodendrons too. I didn't see a ton of anthuriums on their page or else I probably would have ordered one because we all know I love anthuriums. Um, but anyway, so these are some of their more popular plants. And let me show you the process of buying a plant. So let's look at this Amedrium Silver. I wish that I would have gotten that one. That one's really pretty. So let's add that to the cart. And here it says that this photo is only a sample and the real plant that you would get, it would be different, obviously. They can't send, they can't show you a photo of every single plant they have in stock. That's just usually how plant buying goes. Okay, so now I'm at the cart and it looks like I accidentally added the Amedrium twice. So I'm gonna fix that to be one. Just for example's sake, so that you guys can see what this would look like. So the Amedrium was $43, the phytosanitary certificate is $24, and that was automatically added to the cart because you have to have one when you import plants. If you try to import a plant without a phytosanitary certificate, there's a very, very high chance that you're not going to get the plant, and you are putting your environment at risk because the reason that phytosanitary certificates exist is to make sure that the plants that are coming in pass certain qualifications and they don't have certain bugs on them and there, there are even certain invasive plants that come from other parts of the world that are just not allowed in the United States for a lot of different reasons. Okay, so let's check out, let's see what this would look like. Okay, so you have the option to create an account with them. Um, probably just to make it easier to sign out and all of that stuff. Okay, so here's where we are now, and I'm going to add in my shipping address. So now I have my shipping address in. We're going to select that address. And then the flat promo express is going to be $30. So that would be their DHL express shipping. And then from that point, you would just enter in your payment information and if you have a discount code. I was actually able to get a discount code from Root Greenhouse, and it is on the screen now, so definitely look at the screen if you're looking away and check out that discount code. I am very excited to see what you guys order and definitely comment down below if you end up ordering from them. And now I want to show you all of the plants that I got from there and just show you their process and how they are doing now about 12 days later. Okay, so they have been sitting in this greenhouse and I have a lot of plants in here, so I'm going to pull them out so that you can see them specifically. Okay, so this is the first plant that I wanted to show you and this is the... Um, philodendron pink princess and this is the newest leaf that it was putting out a few days ago when I unboxed and you can see that it has fully unfurled and there are some pink splotches on it. It is definitely a relief to see those pink splotches that kind of shows me that it's not completely reverted but I think that it is mostly reverted at least I mean there's a lot of like pure green leaves um, but all in all I have potted the plant up now and it is doing really well and I will probably move it out of the greenhouse pretty soon. It is a little bit floppy since I repotted it, 
um, but it's probably just getting used to everything. So we will see how this one does. Okay, so this is the plant that has gotten the most attention on Instagram, and this is the Syngonium Army. I love this plant so much. It is so beautiful and it has acclimated really, really nicely. Like just look, look at the detail of that plant. You can sort of see now the texture a little bit more. It is so beautiful and I'm really happy that I have it. You can see here that I have a new leaf on it and I'm just really excited to see how it turns out. It looks like it's going to be a pretty big one. So I'm just really excited about this plant in general. It is still in water. I almost potted it up, which you will see in a future repotting video that hasn't come out yet. So that's why there's like perlite on the roots. But I was going to pot it up and then I realized that I didn't have a pot big enough for the root system, which is so cool because these roots are beautiful and have been doing really well. I have changed out the water probably twice since I got them. So I'm definitely being more on it in that regard. So they are very, very happy. And also look at this juicy aerial root that I just spotted. Should I propagate this plant? Let me know, comment down below. Okay, next plant is the Monstera Peru, which is doing super, super good. I wasn't really worried about this plant at all when I opened it. I knew that it would travel well because it is such a thick plant. These leaves are really, um, yeah, thick. <laughs> so anyway, it has this new leaf that is starting to unfurl a little bit more. There is definitely some damage on it, but that is to be expected. And then also this leaf has some damage on it, which you can see but it's nothing that isn't recoverable, and I'm sure that we will again have leaves that are perfect, especially this one, like, that is so beautiful. I love this plant so much, and I cannot wait to send it to my friend and see what she says. Okay, so this is the plant that I was honestly the most concerned about, and it has been very stable, so all of this growth is slowly turning yellow, but the key word is it's happening slowly. So we have time to put out new growth. This leaf down here looks perfect, like I said, and we have another new leaf coming in right here and another one that's already sprouting up out of right here. So even if this plant does get down to these two leaves right here, I know that the plant will recover off of it. Syngodiums are pretty hardy because honestly they are super invasive species in some places, so I just know that it'll be totally fine. I am really excited to see that it has a tri-leaf effect already, like look at that. So this is what syngoniums look like when they are more mature, and when they're more juvenile, they make leaves that look like this. As you can see, it has been repotted into one of my little orchid pots. I always have these linked down below. I have a lot of questions about these pretty consistently and I love them so much. I actually really enjoy the way that they look. So if you are interested in these pots, I'll have them linked down below. And I just have this in like a chunky bark cocoa choir soil mixture, as you can see, and it seems to be really enjoying it. And we can also see a little aerial root coming out right here. And then the last plant from Root Greenhouse that I wanted to show you is this longleaf melanochrysum. How gorgeous, oh my gosh. I still cannot believe how beautiful this plant is. Sorry the lighting's a bit yellow, it's um, from that. But you can see that its new leaf is coming out quite nicely and we have another, my personal melanochrysum is back there. Um, I did say that this plant, or I at least hint that this plant is not going to be mine forever. It is still sitting in water, by the way. But that plant is actually going to be used as a giveaway, so just stay tuned, you know what I mean? Stay tuned, it's looking so beautiful and I'm just waiting for it to acclimate a little bit more before I send it off to its owner. Okay, you guys, that's going to be all for this video. I hope that you enjoyed this unboxing and update on these plants from Root Greenhouse. Again, if you want to order a plant from them, I, of course, will have my discount code on the screen so that you can go ahead and make an order. And I also hope that walking through the buying process is a little bit helpful and demystifying of ordering plants online, especially ordering plants from another country, because I think that it can be very intimidating and it's really not that intimidating. It really is just like buying plants from anywhere else. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed. And if you did, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so we can hang out more often. All right, you guys, bye.